Jack, safe. Open. Here we go. Shit. As expected. Shit. I can't believe Nina and Norsko survived this. Let's just look around and see if we can find any explosives. Kate, you ever think about what happens to people in pods? I do my best not to. Maybe there's some part of them, some spark. They're still human. There's nothing human left. Just keep looking around. Searching. Okay. I'm pretty sure that big drill ran off phosphorus fuel. Okay. So. So, when you expose phosphorus to oxygen and water, it ignites. And that is Saba's problem. Then let's take what's left. Jack, do the honors. Oh, let's go melt some ice, shall we?
I'll be right there! Call Marcus. I'm telling you, this shit is gonna melt that ice. If you say so. Train and get out of here. <laughs> well, coming to this place was certainly a life experience. Feels like we're racking those up out here. I keep thinking about those poor people back in that mine. What you said in the tunnel. You're right. We should have found them. Yeah, but you were right, too. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. Like JD, for instance. Oof. Yeah. 
by JD. I think he'll ever be himself again. I don't know. I hope so, but... I don't know. Come on, up here. Skiff's back this way. Jack, you good hauling that phosphorus? Glad to hear it. See? He's growing on you, isn't he? Jack's good people. You just filled his small mechanical heart with joy. Thanks for being here, by the way. If you weren't with me, this would be... It would be hard. Wait, are you thanking me or, or Jack? Jack? I'm sorry, wasn't that clear? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good one. Marcus, we found phosphorus fuel. Dell thinks it'll get us through the ice. No, Dell knows it'll get us through the ice. Phosphorus. Be careful. It's nasty stuff. Yeah, that's the rumor. Delta out. You know, that ice isn't going anywhere. We could scout around some more. I'll take that under advisement. Oh, man. Now you sound like Marcus. No, this sounds like Marcus. I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> See? Subtle difference. <laughs> yeah, very subtle. Okay, one small detail. Once we get through that ice, Getting back up might be tricky. Then I guess we'll have to deal with that. Solid observation. All right, let's get this phosphorus cooking. Phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah? Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... Oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on. Safety first. Our radio tower. Means the lab's not far. Come on. Jack, good? You, you know you don't have to. Really you don't belong with us. You withhold the truth. Why do you think that is? Sooner or later, I will know you. What are you resisting? What are you resisting? You've got it. They can't beat the sword. Duh. Help me. I know. You're nearly dead. Isn't it that you stop? Stop the fighting. Stop the pain. You're not dead. You don't know. You're one of us. Mira! 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 It's 
nothing. Well, good, because we found it. Come on, we just need to figure out how to get Ah, oh, shit. We're not getting in there. Not with those turrets in place. Well, that's not gonna work. Generator here. Sounds like that did the trick. Shit. We didn't get all of them. Gotta be another generator somewhere. Look out! Found the other one. did it. Now, are you ready to get some answers? More than ready. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day a uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think that welcome home? Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage game. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind, terribly? Miserable little garbage can, mother- Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find a generator. Get back to that garbage can. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good like that. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. Uh, Niles. Really 
looking forward to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. Tell me, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung. But it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them darts. Oh well, water under the bridge. Please, this way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this up. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. What the hell? The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miners' children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease, we raised her as our own. Ah, you may find this especially interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile. A problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different. Highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miner's children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Jack! Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira. Or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Kate, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Hey, 
That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed her. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. It... You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me, my grandfather, who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. It appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. It appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. work turn on you. I choose to view it differently. The Locust longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells. 
and Sire DNA. She amplified Mera's ability to communicate with the Locust. This device is where Mera first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. Alive. What? It, it wasn't really her, except, except it was. 
Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on. He went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! After we deal with Niles. Every child needs a playmate. Have fun. Del? See it, I see it! Let's take him down! Got another one! 
Okay, it looks like we're clear. Then let's keep moving. Niles can't get away. It's locked. There's gotta be a way to open it. Jack, see where that leads. Mm -hmm. after Niles. inside its head. You don't want to know. Where the hell is Niles? My goodness. Someone seems to have awakened my sires from their long hibernation. I wonder who that could have been. Del, get ready!
So then let's keep after Niles. Come on. Hey, Niles! We're still coming! I really don't think he can hear you. I really don't care! <sighs> let's get this open. done cannot be undone. This planet is now theirs. I told you I'd get you. Oh! <laughs> 
real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks.
Welcome to Vasgar, home to the Union of Independent Republic's secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vasgar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. 